Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Reviews where today I have the absolute pleasure of listening through another track from Da Frey um, called Yeah Mama Come Home and if we switch over to here this is off of the album Aristotle so we're gonna listen through this track from start to finish and we're gonna hear what we think. Let's go. Oh nice choice for the piano off the bat man. Great resonance to it. Reverb chain along with I it. I wrote this for my mom. I think about her a lot. There's just some things that I gotta say before it's too late. I I I want to sort of take a step to appreciate not in the clarity of the vocals and the production side of things, but but also that bass, that 808, that whatever that synth is, man, it's sounding ominous. It's sounding kind of there's a sense of dread in there and those strings that come up and then they sort of immediately get slapped back down again you know this is going to be a ride I always made it home when mama called for dinner then the dinner bell stopped ringing one winter i'd overturn a stone to find shelter for a minute things were kind of rocky when mama did a stint three kids who got suicide notes on the beds fuck she slid her wrist to escape her prison sentence though she lived she was taken away I was so angry, started fights every day. So drugs for my pops. See niggas meet the K. Laid out like a prop, museum display. Never had a stable place. Bad history with jobs, not the greatest pay. I genuinely feel like this is like the realest shit. <laughs> that I've heard in quite a while. Tell me you heard something more real than this today, you know, or this week. It's just someone spitting their heart out, telling you their story, man. The epitome of music. Got a record, but I changed my ways. The down dog gets beat. If he lucky, put out his misery. Forced to fight for a bone and half empty water bowl. Left outside all alone. I was just a fucking kid. Don't I know, don't I know, mama, please come home. Your kids, they miss ya. Don't I know, don't I know, mama, please come home. Things are different now, you're gone. I'm supposed to be. I kind of like the dissonance with these wow bass synths and the occasional guitar parts, a bit of color, and an otherwise abyssal hellscape, man. It sounds like Darfrey's gone through some terrible stuff in his life, man. I can't imagine that. I can't fathom that. Strong, but I miss my mom. Takes a lot of courage to, know, to tell people I about know, it, so well mama, done. Please come home. I'm guilty, because I didn't write you once. I was hurt, lance with a needle, tip full of drugs, and shit plunged into my heart. I'm your little boy and you left me in the dark. I watched people die while you were gone. I witnessed what I shouldn't have. I blew kisses to you in my dreams. Though I was still angry, my tears you could not see. I forgive you. Don't I know, don't I know, mama, please come home. I like the fact that we're like letting the verse stanzas go for as long as we need them to and then we're just done we're just going back into that hook you know but we just wanted to say a few lines and then maybe we have might have more to say in the next one and we're just finishing the thought we're not having to sort of force ourselves into sets of eight or 16 kind of lines i dig that i like that freedom there um your kids they miss ya don't i know don't i know mama please come home things are different now you're gone I'm supposed to be strong, but I miss my mom. Don't I know, don't I know, mama, please come home. Would you please come home? No more notes, no more letters, just arms wrapped around each other. When I found out you were dying, part of me. Damn, like, I'm sorry, like, I know, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just, it's a lot to take in. I feel like I'm going to need to have five minutes after this, eh? It's the fact that Darfrey raps so clearly, it's like he's speaking to you. And that may seem like, oh, doesn't every single rapper do that? No. Sometimes that the words come out really quickly. Sometimes it's like 
they're just talking to themselves or try you know like it, it's it's weird it's it's kind of like someone's just getting it out of their system it's the most pure way of expression man blunt and honest and authentic and i genuinely feel as though that's the way to make it in the industry you know like to to an extent like i suppose if you're authentic and even yeah, that that's debatable let's let's not go down that track basically um he got eaten alive a garbage disposal of emotions is spinning inside we never really got along we always knew how to fight and i still got all this trauma inside so much i want to save but i'll save that for beyond the grave mama i mama love you i can't do this without you i'm still attached to your umbilical cord we both got to a point where love got ignored is that it I know, oh. I know, mama, please come. I thought we were done. Kids, they miss ya. We could have finished on that. I don't mind having another hook, you know. Come home. Things are different now, you gone. I'm supposed to be strong, but I miss my mom. Don't I know? Great job. Double track in the vocals here. Please come home. Don't I know? Don't I know? Mama, please come home. Your kids, they miss ya. Don't I know, don't I know, mama, please come home. Things are different now, you're gone. Don't I know, mama, don't I know. Don't I know, mama, don't I know. Don't I know, mama, please come home. It's just the last minute is asking his mama to come home. What a hell of an intense experience this has been. Now, off of the Aristotle album, because I mean, th this is the conclusion of my review of Da Frey's Mama Come Home off of the Aristotle album. What do I think this track is about? Well, I mean, I think we all know what it's about. His mom had some serious issues. And she wasn't able to be home. And Da Frey struggled to cope with that. Struggled to cope with the entirety of the situation. It really messed him up. It did some traumatic experiences, you know? It sounded like, you know, there's a lot more nuance to it. I think that you need, with a track like this, with a story like this, you really need to just kind of digest it slowly. Because it's very easy to become overwhelmed by the pain that someone is feeling when they're within these situations. The rapping was fantastic and the clean vocals and the hook as well i liked the freeform style almost like beat poetry there where we had someone come in speak their truth in their own time using their own syllable counts and there was no the apparent need to fit within a box with the 8 or 16 lines again like i mentioned earlier we just had a point of the poem that we wanted to discuss and then we went back to the hook and then just continued that a few times before an extension of the don't i know mama come home stuff later on i think that's really all you needed you got an indication of not only what Darfrey's mom was like but also how they interacted, how Darth Frey felt when his mom wasn't there anymore, all that kind of stuff, you know? It's deep, it's very, it's very, it's usually a very private thing. And I almost feel, it, it's, if I do feel uncomfortable, it's not because I disliked my experience with this, but it feels like it's almost so raw that I, maybe I shouldn't have heard it. But at the same time, this is Darth Frey speaking their truth. So well done to them. But yeah, I mean, the, the rapping was sensational, nice clarity with the words. The flow was his own, it was comfortable. And it seemed sort of like more sort of coming to terms with it rather than trying any sort of swag or bravado or any of that kind of stuff. The clean vocals were fantastic as well. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, like the, the melodies and harmonies were fairly simple, but it didn't need to be overcomplicated. You had that hook line, Mama Come Home, that you wanted to sort of play around with. And we did that. We managed to do that and it would made musical sense. And it was almost like, I think sometimes we benefited from not singing, you know, in the sense that we just let the musical motif be by itself and let that hang. And I mean, if we're talking about the structure of the track, we had sort of one main idea there that rolled around that bass root, you know, with some guitars and that high, those high parts on the keys. And it kind of sounds like the waiting room trying to figure out whether you are gonna get the, the opportunity to listen to or talk to that person again. It's uh, somber and sobering. Uh, we didn't, the, the complexity and the changes came with the vocals. I don't think we needed to do anything differently. I think that uh, Frey had a track that was four minutes long and included as much as they needed to. I think that trying to put an extra verse into the end would have been too much. 
I'm glad that we stopped the track where it did though because I don't think we could have pulled five minutes unless we had a major change in the harmonies or arrangements. Um, but yeah, lots of great work as well with the drums and the cymbal flourishes and stuff like that. And just the little sort of like oscillations and uh, developments and crescendos of the like the, the synths and guitars and stuff occasionally in the hook. Or a nice color shift there, you know. Maybe it's some like voice vocal follies or something like that as well, which is cool. The production, recording, mixing and mastering was absolutely sensational. Um, initially with the hook, I was like, are some of those resonances that we have at the start of each bar a little bit too much so? Uh, and then I thought about it, but I was like, no, 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 we're, we're fine. We're all good. We, we got the hang of the snow. And also, I don't particularly mind if there is a bit of dynamic range in a recording because it just means that you have, it's like going to a concert or something. It's not just expertly packed down into a square. You don't have this ceiling where nothing gets louder than it. I mean, I know that's part of mastering is having a limiter that does that. But you know what I mean? It's like we're not crushing the wave file or anything like that. I mean, the actual recording quality of the vocals was fantastic. The vocals were recorded really well as well as a solid performance there. The curing, stereo panning, and effects change on the filtering and all that, you know, and the, the notching of stuff in the frequency spectrum and the gluing of instruments in the mix and the relative levels were great. And as I mentioned, there was a bit of dynamic range there as well, so things weren't the same perceived loudness all the time. Finally, limiting compression was stunning, you know, it was nice and loud without pumping, as I mentioned before. All in all, a really positive review here. Um, I think with Darth Frey, you can't really listen to it passively. So if you have listened to this music from Darth Frey and gone, oh, I would like to have more of that, please. Just be aware that you're probably going to need to sit down and have a moment afterwards, like I'm going to. But until then, thank you very much for watching my review of Darth Frey's Mama Come Home. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go and show Darth Frey some love via their various social medias. And I think they're on YouTube. And stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I will catch you. And next review, spot hands out.